Today, we get the privilege of going behind the scenes to find out exactly what it takes to make a brand new television series. It's called Reef Doctors. Now, at the moment, they're taking a break from filming. So this is the perfect opportunity to sneak onto the set, take a look around, and maybe even meet some of the stars. Let's go in. Jonathan M. Schiff is the executive producer behind hit shows including H2O Just Add Water and Elephant Princess. This is his latest. Well, Reef Doctors is a series, action adventure series, set on an island in the Great Barrier Reef. And it centres around a group of people who run the Hope Island Medical Clinic. I don't want too much sensory overload. See, I told you. Back in. Yeah. So what is the bet that Andrew is going to want this batch? Well, you can tell him to wait in line. Filming is split between sets specifically built inside a soundstage and the actual outdoors location, North Queensland and the spectacular Great Barrier Reef. Yes, it's an extraordinary backdrop. And in fact, I think it's probably one of the big characters in the show is the Great Barrier Reef above and below water. You've got 150 million year old rainforest up there. Um, so it becomes a real uh, point of interest for the stories. Meticulous planning and heaps of thought has gone into the series. The set is an important element. I, I just find this amazing because we look up above and there's just nothingness. It's you know, and but there's so much attention to detail on set. There is, and you know, it was interesting when we designed the set because at first we thought, mm, should it be a little bit um, down and dirty? And we thought, no way, are we going to have a medical clinic that's not clean <laughs> and functional? So it really is the attention to detail is amazing from the art department, from the designers, um, from every aspect, the props and so on. Uh, it has to be a real functioning medical centre. You stay put and happy birthday. So how long does it take to produce something like this? Do, do you know from the beginning, obviously a lot of planning right through to when we get to see it on television? Yeah, quite a long time. It takes about four years to write the script. A lot of research, a lot of scientific research, a lot of medical research, as well as the drama and the acting and so on. It takes about seven months to film and then it takes about before it uh, races out to air. Today we're in luck. One of the main actors has come into the set, so we've scored a one-on-one -on -one chat with Richie Brancatesano. What character do you play on Reef Doctors? I play Dr. Rick. Yep. He's obviously a doctor. So he's a medical doctor? Yes, he is. He's a medical doctor. Yep. And Have he's... you had to learn a lot of medical terminology in your oh, scripts? Absolutely. Like Band-Aid. That's a big one. And needle. Oh gee, I'm yeah. scared of those. <laughs> Same here. <laughs> now tell me about this. The sets are amazing. Yeah. Whenever I come onto a set, it's like so realistic, but it's so make-believe. Exactly. I mean, we, we're using a lot of equipment. I don't know if it works though, but we <laughs> pretend that it does. It's probably good that yeah. you're not using Well, that's right. I, absolutely. We use fake needles that kind of, um, they go in, mm. you know, when you're... But they to, don't actually... They don't push. actually go in, yeah. Um, they go, they reverse in. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's so that's pretty tricks cool. of the trade. A highlight for Richie has been working with the cast and crew. Now, as an actor, when did you dream of becoming an actor? Was it a childhood dream? No, no, it wasn't a childhood dream. I, I kind of um, slowly, uh, not really fell into it, but I slowly like found that so you sort of took opportunities as they took presented. opportunities as they came, and then and then realised that this could actually be a real life job. Wow! And and I, I could make a living off it. And well, yeah. I must say, Richie, you do have the movie star looks. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Our behind the scenes look on the set of Reef Doctors continues soon, and we catch up with a few more leading actors. So don't go anywhere. We're on the set of the new family action adventure drama, Reef Doctors. And so far we've chatted to the executive producer, Jonathan M. Schiff, and one of the leading actors, Richie Brancatesano. Now I'm keen to catch up with a couple of the younger members of the cast. Justin Holbrook, here he is, the man himself, plays Jack Stewart. Great to meet you, Justin. Yeah, great to meet you too. Yeah. Now tell me about Jack Stewart, what's he like? Oh, he's a 15-year-old boy and he's very nice. 
He's, uh, he's a good boy, good, and he's good to his mum. He's very good to his mum. They have a really playful relationship, which is always good to see. So Sam Stewart, who is paid, played by Lisa McCune, is your mum in the series. Yes. And how are you enjoying it so far? It's great. It's fantastic. What, so what do you love? So what do you love about acting, Justin? Well, I, I like being someone else. All right. It's, uh, it's really fun. And how did you get into acting in the first place? I played Bugsy Malone in a school play. And as they say, the rest is history. Justin's not the only up-and-coming actor in the series. Chloe Bayless plays Nell Saunders. Nell is um, a character on the island who's 15. She is the daughter of the park ranger, um, Laurie, and she's quite cheeky and got a bit of attitude. She has a, um, in a sense, she's a little tomboyish. I feel that I am the complete opposite uh -huh. for her. I'm very girly and very, um, quite a happy person. Yes. Which is so fun to play somebody that's so so different. So she's a bit more complex by the sound she's, of it. She is. Yes. And, she I, is. and she looks different to you. I mean, oh, it's you, but different. wow. Yeah, yeah. So you probably don't recognise me. Lisa McCune is one of Australia's most popular and successful actors, and in this production plays the lead role as well as co-producer. Lisa, lovely to meet you. And you too. Now you play Dr Sam Stewart, can you tell me about your character? Sure, Sam, um, we're, firstly we're on an island called Hope Island and we're a research station as well as a medical clinic. So Sam is a doctor by day in that part of the clinic and then uh, on the other half of the, in the afternoon she does medical research with um, snakes and spiders and anything they can find on this island which is brooming with wildlife. And this is where we are, we're in your lab and it feels so authentic doesn't it? It's really great. And everything in that room in there which you probably can't see very well we've got all of the um, scientific equipment and all of where all, all the venoms get taken and in here we keep all of the animals and on set we actually have real snakes some days too so it's wow. very exciting we have rubber stone fish because they're far too dangerous Lisa says filming on location and working with the animals are her personal highlights now I know acting has been something you've been doing for a very, very long time, but producing, that's something a little bit new, new and exciting for you, isn't it? Yeah, I was, I, I'm interested in the way something's put together as well, because as an actor you come on the first day and you finish on the last day of the actual shoot with your script, but to learn how the stories are put together and how the show's marketed, and I have kids, so I've got three kids and I know what they like, and this is very much a family show. Is there a typical day working on Reef Doctors? No, they're all very different and I think as far as being an actor goes, when you're exposed to new and exciting things, it just makes for some really good fun drama. Yeah, so you never know what to expect every day. You never know and you don't know what the animals are going to do. <laughs> <laughs> now finally, Lisa, do you have any words of wisdom or advice for some of our viewers that might be wanting to be an actor or maybe a producer when they grow up? Well, finish school. Yes. Make sure you know you, you do as much, get involved in am, you know, amateur theatre and go and see as much as you can and be passionate about it but finish school. Thank you.